Hi guys and welcome to another Tuesday tipple. Today I'm going to be tasting a honey orchid Danchong uh, oolong tea, otherwise known as a uh, Milan Xiang. Um, but today's one isn't from the Phoenix Mountains, which is where we normally source our uh, Danchongs from. This one is from Lingtou Village, which is located in a neighboring mountain range uh, next to the Phoenix Mountains. Now, uh, for those who aren't too familiar with Danchongs, as you can see, they are a sort of long, uh, kind of twisted leaf uh, style of oolong tea, um, unlike, uh, which is different uh, from the uh, Te Guan Yin uh, or you know, some of the Taiwanese oolongs which are kind of tightly rolled balls. These ones are long twisted leaves. So a honey orchid Danchong from the Phoenix Mountains usually has a very nice, um, very nice aromatic and fruity quality to it, sort of lychee-like uh, stone fruit kind of sweetness. So it'll be interesting to see whether this one from the Lingtou village being grown on the mountain ranges next to the uh, Phoenix Mountains to see whether it has those characteristics or whether it's got a different flavour profile altogether. So um, it's time to brew some up and uh, let's find out. It's definitely got similar, similar aromatic qualities. Um, it's very fruity, it's got a very nice sweetness to it. I think this particular one uh, has also undergone a charcoal roasting as well, so you are getting a little bit of that charcoal uh, roast note, very slight hint, but that fruitiness is definitely coming through. So let's see what the flavour, whether we get that lychee flavour or whether it's going to be a slightly different flavour. Aroma-wise, it's a little bit different. It's not quite as, I guess, it's not quite a stone fruit lychee like. Um, like, like, like the Phoenix, as I was saying before, the Phoenix honey orchids have a very lychee like flavor. This one, it's a little bit different. Let's see what the flavor is like. It's still got a fruitiness to it, but I'm smelling a lot of it. It's, there's a fruitiness, slight apple like quality. I don't know what apples kind of smell. like, you know, apple, like apples have a very subtle sort of aroma so I'm, I'm getting a little bit of that mixed in with like a sort of slight charcoal roasted note as well so let's see what the flavor is like it's definitely a little bit different it's a little bit more tart um, I guess yeah like as I was saying before like more like an apple kind of crit like tartness to it like a green apple Still fruity, still aromatic. It's a little bit more subtle than the Phoenix honey orchids. Like the aroma isn't quite as, as I guess, pronounced or as strong. However, there's still a very nice subtle sweetness to it. Subtle apple-like quality. Texture-wise, it's very smooth and it has quite a lot of depth to it. I'm still getting that sort of, I guess, underlying Danchong oolong kind of aftertaste. Let's try a few more. Sips on this one. Color wise, it's, it's quite nice, it's quite clear. It's got that slight, slightly, I guess, more tan like color to it. That's usually um, that's usually what you'd find from some of the more like charcoal roasted uh, kind of dantongs. Still a fairly complex tea. Yeah, I wouldn't call this one like we normally like to describe honey orchid dantongs as having a very strong lychee flavor. This one definitely. It doesn't have that, however, it does still have a honey orchid characteristic fruitiness, but it's a different type of fruitiness. Um, yeah, um, I would liken it more to like a sort of green apple uh, style fruitiness as opposed to like a lychee stone fruit style. Um, but let's, um, let's give it another infusion, let's give it another brew to see how the flavor develops. Taste is still there, still very fruity. So that's the mark of a really good danchon. Pour some of that out. Let's try that second infusion. Yeah, more of that. I think because I've infused this one for a little bit longer, more of that sweetness is starting to come out. Sometimes when you infuse a danchon for too long, you get a lot of that. Like there's that kind of oolong bitterness um, that comes out. This one actually doesn't really have too much of that, at least not yet anyway. It's definitely a little bit more mellow than the Phoenix uh, honey orchids that we're used to. Because with the Phoenix honey orchid, 
although it's got a really strong fruitiness at the beginning, if you're not careful and you oversteep it or you brew it for, infuse it for too long, uh, more of that bitterness starts to come out. And like, whilst I quite enjoy that bitterness, some other people might not, you know, it might not be to their to their liking. So this one here, I believe, I I feel it's a more forgiving style of um, dantong. You can infuse it. I feel you can infuse it for a bit longer without it getting too bitter. In fact, I think for the third infusion, I might try that. I'm going to steep this one for quite a bit longer, just to see whether you get any of that bitterness at the end. So normally, as you see me brew, as you see me brew with the last two infusions, they're fairly quick, no more than say about 10, 20 seconds. This one, I'm going to leave for leave for quite a bit longer. So. Maybe we'll go around about the 30 second mark at least uh, and let's see if any of that characteristic bitterness starts coming out because if I was trying this with a Phoenix Honey Orchid um, using 5 grams of leaves in a, in a small garland like this at 30 seconds it's going to start getting quite strong so let's see how this one fares with that Alright so that's about 30 seconds, a little bit over Let's see what that's like. So obviously as I've infused it for longer straight away the colors are a little bit darker. Aroma wise it's still quite quite a nice fruity like a mellow kind of fruitiness. A bit darker than before. Let's see in terms of flavor what this is going to be like. It's, it's definitely stronger than the previous ones. You get more, a little bit more of that, I guess, oolong, dantong kind of characteristics coming out, but it's not gone too far where, you know, it starts getting, you know, like kind of bitter and strong. Um, for the amount of time that I've steeped it just then, it's actually still quite, still quite mellow. Which is interesting. Hmm. Interesting. So whilst tasting this tea, it still has those characteristic honey orchid-like flavors. Like you can still tell that this is, you know, it's pretty much a honey orchid dantong. If you compare it side by side to a phoenix um, honey orchid dantong, it's 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 still it's still a bit different. Um, they share similar characteristics, however, you can't say that they're exactly the same tea. Like. The, as I said, the Phoenix Honey, um, Honey Orchid Dantongs, they tend to have a more, I guess a stronger, to me, they have a stronger kind of flavor um, at the beginning, a much stronger fruitiness. Um, whereas this one is a little bit more mellow, a little bit more, I, you know, I would say tart and crisp as well. Um, but still a very enjoyable tea. And with this particular one here, uh, it still has a like the characteristic lingering aftertaste that um, that we definitely look for when we're looking when we're tasting Danchong teas. Where we got this one from, it's uh, from a new supplier that we've just been uh, in, in, in contact with. Um, he's based in the Lingtou uh, sort of village area in, in the neighboring um, mountains to, um, to the Phoenix Mountains. Because we were really curious to see whether you have you get the same tea grown in different, you know, just on a different mountain range, like to see whether what what the differences would be. And in this case, it's while it's not vastly different to say that you know they're completely different teas and there's still enough of a difference there for, for it to be fairly, you know, a fairly interesting experience so I've just done the third infusion there um, it's there's going to be a lot more uh, flavor still in that tea uh, in this tea so I'm gonna pretty much sit here and just enjoy it for the rest of the day but um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this little short uh, tasting video if you did please hit that like button below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and um, I'll see you guys next time.